Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. P channel. If you're watching this video, you probably already know that I create videos to show you what kind of experience is to use Android games on your Chromebook to play them and are they run perfectly, are they glitchy, buggy and etc. So um, I decided to start a new playlist where I will show you Android apps specifically like for example Spotify or Netflix or YouTube and etc how they actually work on a Chromebook with Google Play Store enabled and um, hopefully that will give you an idea is it worth it to buy a Chromebook with App Store for Google App Store or not so stay tuned and I will show you in this video Spotify app If you have a Spotify account, you probably already know that you can play music if you go to their website, which is play.spotify.com. So this is uh, their website version, which is, well, you can scroll around. Uh, obviously, my Chromebook Acer i11 has a touch screen, so I just go to my music. Let's pick my playlist, which is Shazam Tracks, and let's say which one I want. Let's play Outside by Kelvin Harris. As a proof, I will show it to you that or press play and I will basically, you can hear, but I'm going to mute this due to um, YouTube terms and conditions or copyright and stuff. So this is how you normally probably played your music on a Chromebook from a Spotify because that's all you was able to, you were able to do, but now when a Google allows certain Chromebooks ha to have Google Play Store enabled, you can download a Spotify app, which is this. So this is a Spotify app, and let's have a look. So again, you can scroll around, you can go to your library, this is your library, let's go to uh, the same playlist which I showed you on the website, and let's go for, I don't know, let's go for Return to Sender. And this is plays now. And just a proof, I will show you. Oops, the website is still going. But as you can see right now, let me pause this. Go to the app. So I have an ad. Ad is happening. Because obviously, I don't have a premium account. So uh, I listen to music with all the ads. But as a, as a proof, here we are. Let's. Wait until the ads is finished and you will be able to hear the music which I chose. So we have Elvis Return to the Sender. So as you can see, it's plays. So it's your choice which one you want to use. Do you want to use a Spotify Play service on the website or if your Chromebook has Google Play Store enabled, you can try this app. Obviously it's free app, but don't forget you're gonna hear all the ads and you can skip songs and if you pay premium version you have all the goodies so I hope this will make you decide even quicker do you want a Chromebook or Play Store enabled or not and thank you very much for watching and I hope I will see you in another video don't forget to click like and subscribe this helps me a lot and this encouraged me even more to do these kind of videos thank you very much for watching and bye bye